we're going to get our session started. So this is the Leadership Listen and Learn time. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Oh my goodness, that was not very much excitement. Let's try it again. Good afternoon, everybody. to be the moderator for this session and I'm so excited to hear from these speakers over here. So Mike, Jen, Alma, Vivian, and Jay, they're going to tell you their stories and just some leadership lessons that they've learned. Um, who was at the leadership session yesterday? The one that we had? Okay, so some different people. So it's going to be some TED style talks and they'll be back to back and then at the end we'll have a question and answer session. So if you're hearing someone's presentation and have a question, write that down but then we can hear everyone's perspectives. All right, so I'm going to kick it off and let Mike take, take the lead here. Dearly beloved. <laughs> We are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Now, two weeks ago, on April 21st, 2016, is a day that I will remember for a long time. And I was on Twitter when I saw the announcement of the death of Prince. And it was at that point where I went to YouTube to watch a lot of videos, like a lot of other people were doing, and reading a lot of stories. And there's one story that I like to share that I think really applies to NCCL. The year is 2007. And it is Super Bowl Sunday. And for the first time in forever in the Super Bowl, it's raining. I mean, it's really raining. It's raining to the point where the television producers were really getting anxious about the halftime show that was going to be performed by Prince this year. Now, as you can probably imagine, as a performer, raining outdoors is probably the worst case scenario. You could slip on stage, playing guitar, you get electrocuted, you never know what's going to happen. Probably not the best time to perform outdoors at the Super Bowl. So the television producers, they called Prince, they said, we want to let you know that it's raining. And are you okay with that? Prince said, yes, I know it's raining. Can you make it rain harder? Can you make it rain harder? Now he took an, a very uncomfortable situation, embraced it, and arguably gave one of the most memorable performances in Super Bowl history. And you can watch it on YouTube. That is the lesson for NCCO. Now, I know we do this at every session, but we're, we're in the first time attendees. You're the first time attendees. Please give a hand. Come on. Come on. I want you to keep an eye on these people. These are the future leaders of the academy. And I know some of you out there may be a little anxious about public speaking. Maybe some of you are a little bit anxious about going to a microphone and talking about your resolution. But can you make it rain harder? You've heard all kinds of challenges this week to go outside the box, to push your envelope, your comfort zone. And you're going to do that. But 
When you do that, I want, also want you to start telling your story and start telling the story of family medicine. And as you go through this weekend, you've probably gotten a little bit excited, especially the, my first time attending friends. And when you do that, you want to tar, start talking to a lot more people about it. And how can you do that better? I think you can do that better with social media. I think social media is a way for us to include everybody's passion and excitement and energy from outside the meeting into our conversations. Now, we know, all know people who, for one reason or another, who could not be here. But what better way to include their conversation into ours? I think we really need to transform the conversations here at this meeting, across the country, and around the world. And I think social media can do that. Now, the other reason that I think family medicine needs social media <coughs> is that family medicine, we need to tell our story. We have let Others tell the family medicine story, and it's the wrong story. If we don't stand up for family medicine, then who will? I have one slide I'm going to show you before I go. I don't know anything about technology. <laughs> uh, I tell people that this is my before picture. Okay? This was before I got involved in AFP leadership. And I challenge, especially those first time attendees, to take your before picture this week. This was 15 years ago at the resident student meeting. How many resident student alumni from that meeting? Here you go. Awesome. Awesome. And I went to that meeting since I was a second year medical student. And every year my friends said, Mike, you need to run for something. And I said, you're crazy. There's no way that I could run against all of those awesome people. So it was my last year of residency, so I figured I would just go for it. I would say, I would run, I would lose, it would be a great learning experience, and I could shut up all my friends. So I worked really hard on that speech. That was a two-minute speech. I never ran for anything ever. And up to that point, that was the hardest speech I had to write and deliver. And that's what this picture is. So I got through my speech, I got through my Q&A, run off the stage, go to my friends, hey, I'm out of here. Let's go to the bar, first round on me. I did it, you guys can shut up now. And it was one. They said, we'll just wait. We'll wait to see what happens. So that day I was elected resident delegate to the AOP Congress and Delegates. And my life changed forever. I had doors open for me that I didn't even know were there. One of the highlights of my AOP career was be, to leave this meeting, to be the conference convener. What was the year? 2007. The same year that Prince <laughs> had that memorable performance at the Super Bowl. 
So as you continue on your journey this week, I only have one question for you. Can you make it rain harder? My name is Mike Sabella, and I am a family physician. Thank you. Thank you.